আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম মাহফুজুর রহমান লেকচারার আইসিডি ডিপার্টমেন্ট মাইলস্টোন কলেজ আই হোপ ইউ অল আর ফাইন এন্ড সেফ এট ইউর হোম ইন দিস এপিডেমিক সিচুয়েশন ডোন্ট ফরগেট টু ওয়াশ ইউর হ্যান্ডস ফর টোয়েন্টি সেকেন্ডস রেগুলারলি উইদ ইন এন আওয়ার অ্যান্ড কভার ইউর স্নিস অ্যান্ড কফস উইথ ইউর এলবো অর এ টিস্যু পেপার অ্যান্ড থ্রো ইট টু এ কভার্ড বিন ডোন্ট ইভেন টু থিঙ্ক to go outside for no reason please stay home for you and your family safety okay and i am going to start my today's lecture my today's lecture i am going to teach you or to show you the characteristics of an standard program what we have to follow when we going to write or when we going to make a standard program okay okay the characteristics of an standard or an ideal program so in an ideal program what we have number 1 the program will be or must have to be easier or and program must have to be understandable to everyone and it will be concise and short not like that the, the programs you going to write it will be elaboratively unnecessarily unnecessarily it will be elaborate no it's not needed it must have to be easier understandable concise and short and number four you have to avoid the excessive use of loops for not lengthening the size of an programs loops means the repetitive work we have in our program so you can avoid it if you you if you want to make your program easier to understand or understandable to everyone you can use straightforward structured program loops you can use but if you can avoid it can makes a program easy to understand to everyone and the length of the program will be short and number 5 process of solving should be logical and straightforward the process you follow to solve a program it must have to be logical not you, you can't even implement any illogical step or illogical function or they what doesn't belong with the with a solution you are going to make for a specific problem it must have to be logical and it have to be and it has to be straightforward not any illogical or not any more much more uh, unnecessary elaborating or unnecessary uh, enhancing of your program it's not allowed you must have to be straight logical and straightforward and what you have in the next step coding needs to be right yeah obviously the when after understanding the problem of your of an a program you going for you go for coding when you go for coding you needs to be right coding needs to be right for the right problem and for the right program you have to write the coding it must have to be right coding for the right problem jumps and branch instruction should be avoided what is jumps and uh, branch instruction in our program we can implement or we can we can insert jump for uh, this step will be followed after that and the branch in this way we can find another for problems of the solution these sorts of instruction you can uh, avoid it because when you use jump and branch instruction it can be uh, an easier or it can be a complex situation arise in front of an un, uh, in, in front of an user when you or other other one are going to watch the, your program and they feel a uh, complex uh, situation in number eight it should be fast in speed the program you write obviously you have to calculate the speed of your program also it must have to be fast in speed and it should have a long it, it should not have long memory when you're writing a program you must have to be concerned of a memory also when you are writing a program you must have to be must have to be uh, uh, concise of your memory so you have to uh, think of of that because in a in a small program if you are going to 
uh, use a long memory then it is and use uh, use uh, wastes of a memory and number 10 for the right function and and the right programs must be selected obviously for a uh, right function you have to choose for the right programs uh, and if you are going to select a wrong function or an illogical function for an for an uh, foreign program you have it's an uh, bad practice so you must have to write the right function for the right programs you are going to solve it okay okay so i hope you understand my today's lecture if you have any confusion or question please do it on our whatsapp group and again i want to tell you please stay at home for you and your family safety okay allah hafiz and take care of yourself